got that on film joe sorry that's going on youtube so we are at mersey island it's eric's coming he's not here yet i'm gonna go for a flight with joe so i'm gonna get my wing laid out joe is taking off from the other field behind the hedge behind me so hopefully he gets up Wait for Joe to launch. I think he's going. I think he's going. Yeah, he's up. He's up. Nice one, Joe. There's Joe below. The orange probably can't see that on the GoPro. Absolutely rough as. Got that on film, Joe. Sorry. That's going on YouTube. That's going to be the introduction. Look at that. All the cars going through there. What's going on? The water level's rising. Eric's arrived. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what are you doing, Joe? Hi, mate. Oh, I got a massive thermal. I was, do, I was at 1200 feet. I was on really low power, and the next thing I was at 1700 feet. Well, we've got to get this on camera. Wow. Oh, where are we landing on his feet? Well done. You might have a cup of tea. You want a cup of tea? So, flight number two, me and Eric are going to go up for a flight to the Malden Salt Flats, where the Malden sea salt is from, in case you didn't know. We'll see, I mean, the wind is quite strong still and it's not set to drop off much to be honest so we're just going to chance it and see see what we get. If we get to the salt flats and they're going to head up to Tiptree, there's a castle thing up there and then maybe Colchester and then back. That's the plan. Let's see how far we get. So when did the wind shot got blown over? smoother than earlier that's for sure so Eric's launched and we're heading to Malden the Malden salt flats it's not it's not a long flight to be honest I'm not gonna get one anyway because the winds are strong somewhere different to fly. Not many land out options here, just marshes. You can see London from the east, not from the north. It's a bit rough down here to be honest. Oh, it's a bit rough again. The wind's really picked up here. Not like it is. Going speed 16. It's borderline between shall I land now because it's so rough or should I press on? I think it's safe enough to fly back. I have to go back to get this. Screw this. It's extremely rough, gusty, strong winds. So we're going to have to abandon this trip altogether. I'm just going to go back to the airfield now. The winds have just got really violent. It's coming for landing. I don't see anyone else flying. This time of day, you usually see loads. No wings laid out, no one flying. Can I make it back to the van?
nice little floaty landing. Okay, this might be a bit shaky. I'm on the GoPro 4. So we're going for a flight. We're going to try again. And the plan for this one is to go to the Molden Salt Flats, then up the river, Marnie Towers, I think it's called. Then up to Colchester, down to Clacton. So it's about a two hour flight, maybe a bit less. Chase gum is broken. On landing last night, I must have snapped the, one of the arms on the mount. So no selfie cam, no chase cam for this one. 12 litres of fuel. It's quite warm on the ground, 19 degrees. Glorious. There's Bolden over there. Quite intrigued to see what the salt flats are like. Leave a comment below. Why is Bolden sea salt so world famous? What a beautiful morning. It's worth staying over for this for sure. Look, it's having a crap on the beach. The owners don't notice. Guys, if you live in this area, leave me a comment. Let me know where the salt is extracted from. Is it literally down there or what? So, sorry about the lack of cameras. Only a helmet came. I know it makes some of you sick because I move my head around a lot, but is that where the salt's made? Bridging Fells land on that green down there. Tip Tree. What's Tip Tree famous for? I know it's famous for some things I've heard, but they make above the town. Is it a town? Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, there's Mighty Towers. It's 500 years since the death of Henry, first Lord Marnie in 1523. Henry Marnie was Henry VIII's Lord Privy Seal, and Leia Marnie Tower is his statement house. It's England's tallest Tudor gatehouse, standing within the Essex landscape. Can you spot the castle? Because I can't. Oh yes, I can. Let me see it. Colchester Castle was built between 1076 and 1100 and has the largest Norman keep in Europe. What's that place? Here we mate, where are you? Completely lost here. Do another turn to so find it. It's landed out, isn't it? It's got to have landed out somewhere. Is he taking a shortcut, gone home, did he not like it? Right, I think it's time to come in for a landing. It's going to stay high until I get up the field. Now I can see your ex wing. He's down, he's fine. That's good. Time is five minutes to ten. Still quite bumpy. Surprised how bumpy it is on the coast. It's usually smooth. So I'm landing in this nearest field with the wing in it. I'm just going to guess it's this way. Okay, I, I was looking around for you thinking, oh shit, have, have you landed out somewhere? And I didn't have any internet at the time because I was at 2,000 feet. I was looking around, looking around, thinking, oh, and I was looking to see if you didn't want to go over Colchester, I thought you may have come straight back to the field and I couldn't see you anywhere. We're going to go for a midday flight. It's pretty much midday now. And the plan, Eric's gone home. He's had a family thing. So Eric, this flight is for you. This is what you missed. So taking off here from Foot Flight Paramotors in Mersey Island. I'm going to go up to Brightling Sea and then along the coast to Clacton, then up to Harwich, 
and maybe over to Colchester and back. May, I might do Ipswich, we'll see how bumpy it is. It may be really bumpy and horrible. If it's super bumpy, I'm just gonna come back and land and go home. Clear blue skies, light winds, and there's no one here because this time of day is not ideal. I might be slightly underdressed. 14 litres of fuel running uphill with the Atom and the Hadron and I've just had my breakfast. So time is 12.30. I've just taken off, heading towards Brightling Sea. It's pretty rough at the moment. I'm hoping by the time I get to Clacton that it will smooth out the sea breeze. But it's a uh, roller coaster land at the moment between 24 and 32 miles an hour because of the gusts and the turbulence. I'm going to fly to Clacton, that's the plan. If it doesn't smooth out by then, probably will come back because I don't want to be locked around on this whole flight. Flying over St. Ossist's Priory, founded around 1121 by Richard de Belmay, Bishop of London. So, over collected now, it's 2,000 feet. Super smooth, look how stable it is. Look at this. Smooth as midday on the coast. Beautiful, smooth, lovely flight. Lovely, lovely flight. Do you want to see the sea? Oh yeah, this is great. Who would have thought midday flying in July would be enjoyable? It is. Loads of people on the beach in Clacton. Fantastic flight. Thanks, Alex. Temperature 17 degrees. I am underdressed but I'm gonna endure it. It's a bit of a Walton on the days now. And um, next place is Harwich. Lovely, love it. Might just get on the power a little bit now, getting a bit low. Are there people at the bottom? Yes, a little. People are on the pier. Kites. These are practice artificial harbours during World War II to support the D-Day landings in Normandy, France. Now approaching Harwich down below and you can see Folkestone behind. I'm making a decision here, do I carry on up the river to Ipswich or do I head back? So I decided not to bother with Ipswich. I've been up there before anyway, and I didn't really want to endure bumps. But I'm just going to stick to the smooth bits of the coast. Highly recommend a midday flight along the coast if you get a sea breeze. Lacton Pier. So we still have a sea breeze, just making sure the wind is as I expect. Oh, that is nasty. <laughs> well, that was, that was an interesting landing. Very rough landing. A bit of a rough landing that one, blimey. Didn't land on my feet, on, on my knees. But look at that sock rotor coming over the trees. So I landed in rotor, should have gone to the other field, but I just had it in my mind. Let's land next to my van. So what a fab flight. Thanks Alex for uh, being so accommodating. See you in the next one.